everyone welcome back to desired foods today i'm doing my autumn chorizo and bean stew So in my pan, I've just heated up some vegetable oil and I'm going to add one and a half of a chorizo into the pan. And we're just going to fry this to release all the oils from the actual chorizo, which most of the flavor is going to come from that. So as you can see, I'm just going to fry this till the chorizo is nice and crispy. Now you can see that rich, rich color coming from the chorizo. So that is all the paprika flavor coming out of the chorizo and flavoring my oil. So we're just gonna continue to do this just for a couple of minutes more. And then I am going to remove my chorizo and put it into a separate bowl. So now that I'm left with this nice flavoured oil, I'm just going to add one leek and one onion to this and we're just going to fry this off. So at this point, if you wanted to add potatoes, you can just get one potato and cut it up in small cubes and add it to the stew as well as some carrots as well. It depends how much you want in your stew because sometimes I do that. So it is optional, but at this stage is when you would actually put that in. But this recipe, I'm leaving it out, but it is optional. Now I'm just going to add some garlic and some ginger. And then I'm just going to add some tomato puree. And then I'm just going to give this a good mix. Now this is all mixed. I'm just going to add some tagine paste, which I've just picked up from my Tesco's. So you can get this in any large supermarket. So I'm just going to add a tablespoon of that and I'm just going to give that a good mix. Then to this, I am going to add some all purpose seasoning and some paprika and then some salt to taste and then give it a good mix. So now that this is mixed, I'm going to add one chopped tomato and some parsley. I had some parsley in the freezer, so I've just chopped that up and added that in. Now I am going to add one chicken stock cube. Now you can add vegetable or chicken, it's totally up to you, but I am using chicken for today, but by all means you can use a vegetable stock cube as well. And I've just added a bit of kettle water to it and it's just going to help it along to fry. At this point, I'm just going to add all my chorizo back and then you're going to mix this thoroughly till it's all combined. So at this point, I am just going to add some thick couscous into this. Now, normally I use paella rice, but I haven't got any at hand. So I'm just using the thick Turkish couscous that I have at the minute and I'm just going to give that a good stir. 
Now that's combined, I am going to add my mixed beans. So these are mildly spiced taco beans that I've just bought from Aldi. So you can use any beans of your choice, but I'm using this because it has the tomato sauce in there as well. And then I've just washed some white kidney beans that I'm putting in as well. So if you can't find the beans, all you need to do is put any beans in there and just add a little bit more tomato puree into it. So I'm just going to add some water now into it just to help the couscous cook. So I'm just adding some water. At this point, check it for salt if it needs any salt. You can add pepper at this point or chilli if you want. It's optional. But I'm just going to add a bit more salt to this. And then I'm going to pop the lid on and let that cook on a slow heat for 15 minutes. So now that it's been cooking for 15 minutes, I'm just going to check it. I'm just going to give it a good stir and then I'm just going to add some more water at this point. Taste it again and check if it needs any more salt and add to taste. And then I'm just going to pop the lid back on and simmer it for another 15 minutes. So as you can see, this has been cooking for a further 10 to 15 minutes now. So I'm just going to give it a nice stir. So as you can see that the couscous has plumped up a lot now. And usually, like I said, I usually use the paella rice. So as I am showing you now, the couscous is well cooked. And I hope you are liking these autumn additions to my channel. I will bring, be bringing you more autumn and winter dishes. So please stay tuned for that. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the two weekly videos that I post up. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.